you know me teacher Addie and welcome back to another YouTube video good morning and I just wanted to create some tar pits today now for today if you don't know what tar pits are it's okay we're about to learn what tar pits are and I thought we should create some tar pits based on our dinosaur lesson that we've had all week so let's go ahead and get started with what are tar pits hmm Let's find out. What are tar pits? Hmm, that's a very good question. Well, tar pits are this black, sticky stuff that you find on the ground. And you can easily get stuck in it. Once you get stuck, you sink down a little bit and you were stuck there for a very long time. Now, these tar pits are 38,000 years old, whoa! Which means that sometimes dinosaurs would get stuck in this. And because they would get stuck in it, we now today can find these dinosaur fossils in there. Now you're wondering, is there tar pits right now? Well, there is. You can visit the La Brea Tar Pits Museum and you can find out about these tar pits that I'm talking about. Now, the color of these tar pits were mainly black. And that is going to be the color we are going to be using today for our experiment. Lots of dinosaur fossils have been found in these tar pits, so I thought today we can create our own tar pits. We've created fossils. So now it's time for tar pits. Thank you for joining me for some facts today, friends. All right, time to get started on our very own tar pits. For this activity, what we're gonna need is some cornstarch, some water, some black color dye or food dye, color black, a spoon, and some dinosaurs as well as our very own bowl. Now, we're gonna start off with grabbing our cornstarch and our spoon, and we're gonna put two spoons of cornstarch. One, two of cornstarch. Now, after we've done two spoons full of cornstarch, we're gonna do one of water. So we grab a spoonful of water and we drop it in there. Now I know we want to start mixing with our spoon but first we're gonna roll it around the water a little bit see how it gets everywhere. Now that the water has gone everywhere we're gonna mix in our cornstarch by shaking our bowl. Let's shake our bowl and then we use our spoon. So that way it'll mix in a little bit and we can get this consistency. Now I didn't put too much water in the beginning, but it's starting to create these little chunks that we want. These little chunks that we want. Now that we've mixed it, time to add another spoonful of water. There you go, let's drop it in there. And what I want you guys to do is mix the water again. Mix it, mix it, mix it. And now we use our spoon to mix the cornstarch. For this part, you can either use a spoon or we can start using our hands. We can use our hands. And you'll notice that when you play with it, it's really, really hard when you let it go it turns into this goop so what I want you guys to do is take your black food coloring and add it to the pits and I want you guys to move it around move it around and get the black in there we don't want to touch it, we just want to move it around and so it'll mix itself up. Alright, 
So I'm going to leave mine just like this because I want it to be semi-white to show you guys how the cornstarch is mixed. Now remember, if we touch it, it will not come into our fingers. You can play with this by touching it and letting it go in your fingers. But what I want you guys to do is grab some of your dinosaurs and play with them. See how they don't stick to the dinosaurs? But if I let it go, the dinosaur sinks in. Look at, look at the dinosaur. He's sinking in. But if I pick him up and I go like this, it doesn't touch him. And that's what the tar pits were. They were these things on the ground that if you stepped over them and you stopped, you would sink down and then look just like our dinosaur. He's getting stuck in them. He's getting stuck and he'd stay there. And he couldn't move. He couldn't move. And there you have it, friends, your very own tar pit. Feel free to grab some more dinosaurs and put them on there. And you can pick it up and play with it and let it go on your fingers. You guys can make more by adding some more cornstarch and some more water. It's two times cornstarch, one time water. Okay? And then you slowly add the water if the cornstarch isn't mixing. Well, thank you for joining me today. I'm Teacher Addie. Until next time, have fun with your dinosaurs and your tar pits. Bye!